Good morning, everybody. This is Morgan Denny coming to you live from Portland, Oregon. I'd like to wish everybody out there a very happy PT month. And in honor of said month, um, one of the things I wanted to talk about today was PTs and public service. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, I'm one of the co-founders of Stand the Haiti Project. Stand being Sustainable Therapy and New Development, a project that brings PTs and general medicine and prosthetics to Haiti. Um, we're leaving in a couple weeks to go on our fall trip, which I am stoked on. And if we have any of our uh, upcoming volunteers listening, can't wait to see you guys in a couple weeks in the Miami airport and then later head to Haiti together. But in honor of heading to Haiti and in honor of it October being PT month, Today I wanted to talk a little bit about public service and PT and why I really think that PTs need to step it up and start giving back a little more. Um, I'll just go ahead and apologize right off the bat to those of you who have been in a course with me before. You have probably heard me soapbox and do this a little bit, but listen in, I might have some new nuances today. Um, so I really believe, obviously, that PTs need to give back a little bit more, to do more public service, to be able to be in the communities, um, and give back to those people who really just don't have access to health care. You know, health disparity and health problems in America and access to information, and in other countries for that matter, is not a problem that is shrinking each day. Um, more and more people are kind of losing access to health care. And even though we have more and more state programs that are bringing in um, ability and access to get insurance, we still don't have people who have access to PT. You know, I know even in the clinic I work in that I feel is fairly progressive, we still just started taking the state healthcare insurance. So this is a big problem. And I think one of the ways that we as PTs as a profession can start stepping up is to be able to give back a little bit more. You know, so we have a really valuable skill set. You know, we help people move better and move with less pain. So if we can give that back to people without a surgical suite, without medications, without ancillary gear, you know, it's like we have the ability to help people live a better life and move better and move more freely and with less pain. And all we really need are our hands and our brains, right? That's not a whole lot, you know, and maybe, maybe a high-low table. Um, but, you know, it's like those are little pieces and we have the ability to affect, affect the quality of life of people in a really dramatic way, you know, and it's like our skills are so valuable in any and every culture and country. You know, if you, if you can think of a culture or a country that doesn't experience pain, you should put it below on the Facebook page because I'm moving there, you know? So it's like our abilities are really um, important in all different variety of places and spaces. And I really think we need to start stepping up to, to kind of get into that. You know, and I think it's really easy for us um, as PTs to become jaded in our profession in the States. You know, we have to jump through a lot of hoops. Um, insurance reimbursement can be crap. Authorization can be a pain in the ass. And I'm not just, you know, I'm naming those obviously off the top of my head because these are frustrations that I have as a PT as well, working in the American healthcare system. And it's easy to forget that like what we're doing is really important. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot that we're working against. Sometimes our patients come in and they already have their Google diploma, which I'm all for, by the way, but can be really frustrating when you as a PT feel like you've gone to school and you've done all this learning and studying and education and people come in with a lot of information already. But we forget that that information can be really, really helpful. And sometimes even the little things that we have in our back pocket in terms of information are things that people don't know yet or people who don't have access to health information don't know, who haven't done days and days of research on the condition that they're seeing you for. You know, and that's, I think that's really easy to forget that sometimes that little stuff that we maybe barely remember from PT school that we are pulling out of the back of our brains and hope is still accurate if you're me and graduated over a decade ago, those kinds of things can be really important, right? Like helping people to find a position that's appropriate or good for them to sleep in with less pain to get sleep quality, or how do I move from sit to stand in a way that's helpful for my body? You know, like those little things that sometimes we forget about, those pieces are really important. And those are key places for PTs to start instating their knowledge, you know? I think also our ability to step in and help people understand their symptoms 
or at least know that like what they're dealing with is not nefarious or harmful. It's not going to damage their bodies, you know, or to help them see the steps they need to take. Like those little pieces just to help bring someone control is a big part of what we can really provide for people, you know, and for people who do do have situations in which they don't have access to healthcare. Like those are usually subsets and populations that don't have a lot of control over their lives in the first place or who feel like they don't have a lot of control. So even to be able to provide those people with just something they can do, something that they can step up and be a part, an active part of their lives that affects their bodies, that can be a really important thing that we as PTs can provide that I think is very, very valuable, right? Um, And so, you know, that can be a place for us to really, really step up. Um, And I think that if we start stepping up to that piece in society, I think that we could really change things. Now, I know that PT also is a very consuming profession, right? There are probably people out there thinking, I am so busy, I'm overwhelmed, like I don't really want to do more PT work in my life. And I totally get that, you know? Like as PTs, we're never sitting still. We are attending Con Ed on our weekends. We are um, checking out the latest TMJ research when that one patient with jaw pain comes in that we haven't seen for a long time. Um, You know, we're playing Google Pharmacists all the time to find out what the latest and greatest drugs are. And could that be the reason that our patient's balance is off? Like, it's an overwhelming profession at times, for sure. We are in there and we are in there to win it. But at the same time, I feel like we're also a very privileged profession. You know, I'm not saying that getting through PT school is easy um, or cheap. Like, we all know the zeros and the digits behind uh, PT school loans these days. But at the same time, if you've made it through PT school you, and you can afford to go to Con Ed, granted, I know it's required, but all the same, like if you are that privileged, you probably have an extra day every month that you could give back or even an extra day every year. You have some form of extra income, time, resources that you could probably give back to the community at large, whether that be the people down the street from you or whether that be in another country. And I really believe that this should become law, right? So I know it's called volunteerism, but at the same time, I really believe that giving back of your PT skills specifically should be part of our practice act. Now, I know that there are going to be people that are like, oh, there's so much in our practice act already. We're doing all this con ed. We have to keep up with this stuff. But I really do think that, you know, volunteering or being able to give back in some form is important. And I think that until it becomes normative, it should be required, right? X amount of hours of community service work, et cetera, per year for you to maintain your license. You know, and I think that as much as I would rather it become normal or I'd rather everyone who's a PT step forward and say, hey, look at me, I want to be the one that volunteers until it becomes normative, like brushing your teeth every night. You know, I do think it should be required. And I think that if one day we reach the point where, duh, I brush my teeth, you know, every night, of course I do, duh, of course I volunteer, then great, we've made a big difference, you know. And I also think if forcing the hand of people to volunteer is something that can make the world just a little bit better and create a little bit less health disparity, then I also think we should do that. Um, So I would encourage you guys for PT month and every month, to find a way to give back, right? Like you can volunteer at your local race or serve food at a big fundraiser, but I would really encourage you to give back using your PT skills. You know, it could be your friend who doesn't have insurance, seeing them pro bono. It could be coming with us to Haiti. It could be volunteering a local free clinic or starting your own so that PTs in your area can also have that ability to volunteer. Um, But whatever it is, guys, try to give back. It's important, and I think it would really allow our profession to grow. You know, we're, we're a profession with great heart and compassion, but if we can give back just a little bit more, I think that would be really key and important. And like I said, we have a skill set that is, can be very, very powerful and helpful for humanity and in the world, no matter where we're talking about. So I encourage you guys to give back, um, and hopefully with any luck, we'll see some volunteerism coming into our local state practice act somewhere near you. Um, so that would be my dream come true. 
So happy PT month, everybody. And as cliche as it is, the song of the day today is Heal the World by MJ. So I'll post that below. Peace out, everybody.